guys? This is Corey here with Two Blizz Reptiles in San Diego. You can't really see my face right now, but I, uh, me and, uh, well, Nick Crawford and I from Lost Realms up in Fresno, which is the Reptile Zoo, we've been kind of, uh, collaborating on a long-term project, um, for a little while, but this is actually one of the pieces of that project. And, uh, we should actually see uh, some fruits of, of this project by, uh, actually before the end of this year, hopefully. Um, but it's a very exciting project. I know a lot of you guys want to see what's in this box. It's probably one of the, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, like, it's like one of those monitors that everybody talks about but nobody really has and a lot of people see them on the internet and blah, blah, blah. So, you'll know when I get it out. But we're going to uh, make sure that this guy's okay. And that he's, uh... so these monitors actually you end up having to brumate, which is like hibernation. Um, but brumation is more of a, I, I believe it's considered brumating instead of hibernating because the monitors are more, more active during brumation than they are during hibernation and the temperatures are much higher. This is actually a, uh, a species native to Australia with a uh, certain morph, um, which you'll see when we get him out. And let's see here. So I was going to switch to the uh, GoPro on my head for putting him in the enclosure. He's actually going to go up into the uh, enclosure up there. Um, just for now until we can settle them in and then move them into the larger breeding enclosures that we have here. But I want to get him out without hopefully pissing him off too much. But I know his claws are really sharp. So I'm going to throw some gloves on. And we'll see if we can get him out for you guys. Hopefully I won't get cut up too bad. crazy. Hi buddy, I know, you're not going to be happy. I know, you got a new new home. And there you go. But, so there you guys go. So we're working with this guy for a little while, just for a few months, so we can try him out on our project over here. See how he does. But, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Look at that. But, so we're going to get him going over here, get him settled in. And uh, he's actually already brumated, so he's ready to breed. And um, he's, uh, I think he's a month and a half or two months out of brumation, some, somewhere around there. So, um, but he's, uh, he's obviously probably a little cold and disoriented. So we're going to get him in his, in his enclosure, and I'll uh, 
I'll definitely be posting pictures and videos of him throughout the day just to see how he does, but pretty neat. Keep feeding him. Some more cameras um, into the uh, some of the breeding enclosures and actually some of the uh, the new lay boxes that we made because I had I moved Yoshi down here into this this enclosure which is a four by eight and then we also added um, a uh, lay box that's attached to it that's completely detachable and self-sustaining it's a complete standalone unit um, but we uh, we have some pretty awesome projects coming up here and, and a lot of them are going to come out this year so stay tuned for all that. We should have some really cool stuff and uh, you know I'm just straight up excited like a schoolboy when it comes to uh, you know getting all these crazy monitor species in here and being able to start working them, collaborating with other people which is nice. You know, I've been I've been breeding these things for 13 years now, and stuff like this is it's insane. It's insane. It's so cool. So I'm just glad to be able to share this stuff with you guys. But keep feeding. <laughs> 